They came from separate different places, drawn by something larger than themselves, pulled by the hand of destiny towards the fates of their own destinies. Forty-one strangers, the kind who had never met, invited to a house they'd never met by a man they didn't know and had never met, an uninviting place, an enigmatic host, who would tell them such tales, stories scraped from the floor of the bowels of the pits of hell itself, guaranteed to curd your boils and blanch your pebbles, stories of people caught in a cesspool of illogical drooling terror. Welcome to Piddle House. Reason Nebody, and I will tell you each a tale, a fantastic tale of terror that will define your very fate. A tale, could you sit down please? What, please, could, no, please don't touch that, it's very valuable. All right, that's it. Could you just g go to your rooms, please? We don't have 41 rooms. Well, how many do we have? Seven. Fine. of kicks-crazed Londoners swinging to the beat of their own heads caving in. <coughs> of a wedding night gone horribly wrong. Why are you fussing? I've laid out your bedclothes. Come, come, my dear, we're married now. The thirsty undead rising from the grave, just not having the strength and forgetting the whole thing. Bats who will kill anyone dressed as a skeleton of an entire world hanging on the fate of a single eyebrow. The terror of the five candles. We are candles, we will kill you. We are candles, we will kill you. Dead skeletons that don't seem to be alive. The horrifying window that eats people. Of objects on a wall so indeterminate as to make a decorator gag. New Scottish games that even the Scots don't want to play. I've decided to buy all your candles and potpourri. Your move. It's like an insidious game of chess where I beat myself every single time. Modern art gone wrong in a world driven mad by modern art of unnamed brains sold in convenient jars. The teacher who only taught his students death and bad things. Today we are going to learn how to dismember friends and relatives. Well, say something. I love you, mantelpiece. Of a man who fell in love with his own mantelpiece. <laughs> Resurrectionists, the lowest of the low, reduced to chuckles and grunts and gulps. The peaking portrait, where at least one of the eyes works. Two mad labs creating two monsters in the same castle. competing for scientific immortality and valuable cash prizes. But I love you both, don't you see? Two monsters. We can make this work. One girl. We're three sensible people, you and I. And you. Um... Maybe we are being a bit hasty. These stories will change your life. Could you please just sit down a moment, please? <laughs>